Okay, a pleasant good day everyone. I'm Joe Bora from Sports Fanatic News. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the content. This is going to be our nice NHL team preview and predictions for a team. This one is going to be on the Detroit Red Wings as I go through it in the next five to six minutes. Please like, comment, and subscribe, as I said before. And also, I hope everyone is enjoying the World Juniors. There's been some great hockey going on there. And I will have a video reacting to some moments and some great games from the World Juniors in the next coming days as I put together some of my favorite moments of the World Juniors. But let's get into the Red Wings. The Red Wings, they got with Joe Sockett down there now. A very interesting bottom of the league team still like let's not sugarcoat it this is still a team that's going to struggle going to be a team that's going to be atop the draft again next year but they're showing great progression now with socket and blast Hill down there so they're moving in the right direction they got at forward two key guys in dylan larkin of course at center and Anthony Mantha, either on the left or right wing. Mantha, of course, has been in trade rumors in recent years. So will they actually keep him around or will they eventually move him? That will remain to be seen. Dylan Larkin, is my, in my opinion, excuse me, is the guy you have to build around on offense. And then on defense, the guy that they're going to build around is likely somebody that is not up yet. Philippe Peronic is a very good defender but and a good player overall. He can move the puck. He's a quicker skater. But Maurice Sider, who played in the minors last year, had 22 points in 49 games. He's only 19 playing for Sweden. Uh, he's a guy that should be in the NHL potentially at some point this year and soon, if not this year, next year for sure. And he's likely their future core defenseman that they hope they can build around and then there's another Swede William Willinder who they drafted who is obviously a couple more years out at only 18 but when he comes up those are the two guys might have killer Swedes on defense that you'll be able to build around there and another Swede in Lucas Raymond who they drafted who is a very good player playing very well in the world juniors as well as Joe Valino who could be up this year as a 20 year old at center but probably will have another year to develop so you got some great young guys coming up they also brought in Tomas Grice in order to go with Jonathan Bernier he's a good scrappy goaltender I must said young he's not young he's 34 but he's a very good scrappy goaltender that's played well for the Islanders and many other teams in his career I think he was a good sign I think bringing in Bobby Ryan bringing in Mark Stahl for the final year of his contract you brought in a lot of character guys around your young guys I think this is going to be a year of elite Zadina is going to be able to develop and really get going more Robbie Fabry you brought over from the St. Louis Blues that was a good acquisition and Tyler Bertuzzi who's coming into his RFA's year excuse me is going to want to show up and show out so I think having veterans in place with the Franz Nielsen's of the world you're not going to be able to get rid of Helm on the final year of his contract the Glenn Dennings of the world bringing in the Bobby Ryans of the world bringing in young guys like Robbie Fabry who have potential to become a guy that you keep in your lineup as you're building your next winning teams in Detroit. I think Joe Sackick's doing a good job out there. They're obviously just a couple years away, but they got a lot of flexibility because the other thing Detroit has in next year's draft is five picks between the second and third round. And they are likely going to use some of that to potentially get more second round, or excuse me, first round talent later in the first round as that draft comes on, or for trades when people get on the open market now for some young players that have been floated around to be able to be moved on the NHL. So I believe the Detroit Wed Rings in the division they're in, they're in a tough division where, of course, Tampa, teams like Tampa, teams like Nashville, like that, Carolina, and others are teams that you would definitely mark ahead of them going in in that division. So I think they're going to struggle this year again, but they'll be a very scrappy team. They'll be better than last year. Let's put it that way. This team is going to be a team that continues to show steady improvement each year. And I think the big thing for them is they will be better than last year. And you're going to see the prospects like Maurice Sider, uh, Lucas Raymond, uh, Joe Valino, uh, William Willinder. Uh, Michael Rasmussen's a big one that they need to try to develop into at least a bottom six player in the NHL. He hasn't fully showed up yet, but he's only 21 and has got a lot of time to still show something. So let's see what he can do there. And then uh, Nybach they got as well. So they got a bunch of other guys um, as well. They got a lot of Swedes. Um, Berggren as well, a Swede at 20 years old. So this team really knows how to get them from across the pond. And I think especially in Willinder, in the very, very 
progressed future down the line. And then Sider soon is going to be the building block for their defense. They should already have the building block of their offense. In Dylan Larkin with Lucas Raymond, potentially Valino as well coming up and being part of the building block. As well, and maybe Rasmussen at this point, who looks like he could be bottom six, but a very good bottom six player if he can find it. That can then also produce for you down there. So they got the foundation it's really forming. But they're still ways away. This team's going to miss the playoffs. But it will be a fun team to watch with very good young progression that misses the playoffs. So that has been the NHL team preview by Sports Fanatic News for the Detroit Red Wings. I am Joe Borick of Sports Fanatic News and SteelFlyers.com. Please check out all the great content on SteelFlyers.com. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everyone. Hope you're having a great start to your new year. Peace out.